I would get up. Dude, every routine. I was an NPC when I was 10 years old. I'm going to give you my fucking schedule when I was 10. Genuine schedule here. I would get up at 4 a.m. No lie. 4 a.m. I didn't like sleeping when I was a kid. Don't know why, didn't like sleeping. I would get up before anyone in my family got up. I would go downstairs. I would make myself three Eggo waffles, right? Every day. I, this is how independent of a 10-year-old I was. I, <laughs> I would make three Eggo waffles. I would put butter on them. Uh, not real butter, like the fucking like spread butter, right? I would go, I, I would have it on a paper plate. I would get a glass of milk, 2% or 1%. I would sit down and crisscross applesauce and I would watch... I would watch the same episode of Animal Planet every day. The same episode. And you, you might be asking yourself, how the fuck is the same episode of Animal Planet on every day? Are you watching a replay? No. For some reason, Animal Planet for like two months played the same Cheetah episode every day at like 4 a.m. And so I watched the same episode every day for a month. And then I finally got out of that Matrix loop and I still kept the same schedule. But instead of watching Animal Planet, I would watch this same episode of this Cartoon Network show. I don't even, I, the only thing I can describe is that there was a character with hair down to like her fucking feet. And then there was like another dude with like cyborg goggles. And I don't remember the show, but all I did was watch the same shit. I, I was literally an NPC. And then I would go to class. It might have been Teen Titans. I don't know. It might have been Teen Titans. I would go, I would go downstairs. I would make the Eggo waffles. I would watch the same episode of a show. I would go to class. And then when we had recess, I was the depressed kid. I, 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 I was depressed. <gasps> You didn't see that. Code Joe B. 20% off. Use it. When I was like 10, I would sit alone. It, uh, dude, this is so sad. I've never told you guys this before. I would sit alone every recess. Uh, not every recess, but like it was probably like three recesses a week. I would sit alone by a tree and just repeatedly say, I want to go home. That, yo, I do vividly remember on it. This one hill, it was a hill and it had a tree. I would sit and I would just slump and I would literally be sitting here like, bro, I, I want to fucking go home. Like, and then I would go home and I, would, and I wouldn't do my homework. <laughs> I wouldn't do my homework. I would stare at it for an hour. I would get done. And it was this, it was the easiest shit ever. Cause you know, when you're in like, you're in like second grade, I'm in like second grade. It's literally like, it's like completing a sentence, like the right version of they or there, or whatever. I would do my homework, and then I would play Mario, I would play Paper, oh my god! And then I would play Paper Mario, oh my, dude, I played the same level of Paper Mario for like three months, and I couldn't get past this one wall in Paper Mario, and every day for three months, I would play Paper Mario. It was, dude, I was in the Matrix. Wake up, Eggo Waffles, watch the same show, go to class at recess, be sulking, talking about how I want to go home, I, I would go home, stare at my homework, not do it, then do it, and then play the same level of Paper Mario, and then go to bed. And then I broke out of it, miraculously, when I started when I started actually making friends. I used to be so shy. Dude, I remember I switched schools, and my mom dropped me off. Oh my god. I switched schools, my mom dropped me off one day, and I... I get, I used to get really nauseous around new people. Um, this was in third grade. I used to get really nauseous around new people. And I remember turning to my mom and I was like, I can't do this. And she was like, I, she was like, I have to leave you. I was like, I can't do this. And she left me and I was so upset, but that made me like actually talk to people because I didn't know anybody. I went to a new school. I didn't know anyone there. I didn't know any of the teachers. I didn't know where anything was. And I felt like betrayed by my own mom. But, like, she had to do it. And then I was, like, fine after. I was fine after, like, two years after that. I started getting better. I think transitioning schools actually made me, like, get out of the Matrix. And and actually made me, like, a more extroverted person. Old Monarch Theater. The auditorium. That was such a random conversation we just had there. It started with the TV shows. And then I started talking about the fucking NPC shit. That's depressing. Yeah. Did you have the toastable four-piece rip-off waffles? Oh. <gasps> Four piece rip off waffles. 
Oh, don't even test me here. These, these were, these are arguably the best Eggo waffles. You, these with butter. The best fucking waffles. The best waffles you could ever have. These are mouth-watering, mouth-watering good. You, you, you put butter on them, you rip them apart, and then it's just like, dude, it's like mini snacks. The issue is I could eat this whole box. Like, I could genuinely eat that whole box. No doubt. No, no hesitation. Like, actually, actually could eat that box. No problem. They're so fucking good. Those in French toast sticks. Uh